Skybard. Skybard Sowen with another edition of Coach's Corner and always one of my favorites each and every year. We go to the Valley Christian Boys Basketball Head Coach, Mr. Dolph Carroll. Coach, how we doing this season? We are great so far. So far, so good. Let's talk about the practices so far that you guys have been able to get under your belt. What have, uh, what's what been looking good and what has been standing out from your guys? Uh, their effort, their attitude has been absolutely tremendous. We've only had five practices, so it's not like we're into a lot of things. But uh, we're going about two and a half hours and they've been, they've been hanging tough. So it's been really, really, really productive the last four or five days. Let's talk about some of the names we got to get used to over there in Valley Christian this season. And so the Eagle fans can get a, get an idea of who they're going to be seeing playing on the hardwood this year. Good gosh. Um, returning guys, it'll be pretty impactful. Rayshon Bell, Jalen Robinson, uh, Alex Green, Patrick Riley, Dion Miller. Uh, did I say Jalen Robinson? I think I did. Yeah, I mean, I, we've got a pretty good nucleus of kids coming back that have at least played some varsity, so that's going to be helpful. Um, and then the young guys that uh, played JV last year got a lot of valuable experience, so they should be able to help. Um, so it's just so – I don't know. I, <laughs> it's, I, I'm hoping they all stand up and play well, so we'll find out soon enough. Let's, let's talk about that a little bit. Obviously, when we if we talk to you at the end of game 22 of the season, you might have a completely different answer to this. But uh, in the kind of way too early into the preseason, what do you expect some of the strengths of this team to be this year? That's a really good question. Going into it with my mindset, um, we, we better be able to defend. I mean, in our conference and with our non-conference schedules, we're, we're going to have to defend to stay in games. And if we can do that, and right now, so far, again, after five days, um, they've really done a really good job of picking up the the system and trying to learn and understand what we expect out of them. So defensively is our number one thing. And obviously, we're going to have some speed. Um but if we can't stop anybody, we're not gonna. You're not gonna win a whole lot of ball games. You mentioned that conference. The EOAC is always a fun one to watch on the boys' side of hoops because it's just always so competitive. Wellsville, though, has been at the top of the class the last couple of seasons. What do you expect from the conference this year, and uh, what is uh, what are some of the challenges you're going to meet inside that conference? You have to come play every game. I mean, you can't overlook anybody. Everybody's going to be ready to play. Uh, I think you got to look at Lisbon and Columbiana probably as the front runners because they have so many kids coming back, good coaches, um, and then everybody else is good. I mean, they're not nobody's bad, and the coaching staffs on all the at all the schools are very very good. So you have to be ready to play every night, and if you're not and you slip up, then that's that costs you the conference. So it's you got to come play every night. You talked a little bit about the non-conference as well, and the non-conference always. I, I enjoy how teams schedule the non-conference because it usually is like you get to see what they want to test themselves against before that tournament starts too and what they want to experience against. What's some of these non-conference games you're excited about your boys playing? Oh, Mooney, Lowellville, uh, Heartland's going to be fun. They're very, very talented. Those, all three of those teams are really, very talented. We picked up uh, – Got Crestview again this year on the schedule. Um, and I believe we traveled to Medina Christian down in Manchester. So, you know, Brookfield's on there. I do know Brookfield. So, yeah, we try to challenge ourselves um, to see what we're kind of made out of. So it's it's a fun – it's a very fun non-conference schedule. It really is. Very competitive. You mentioned some of the guys that you bring back from last season to this season. I'm curious to ask, too, with you being one of the good minds in this sport, when you have guys that return, is it more about refining the sets that they already know, or do you try to add new things because they have that experience under their belt now? I think sometimes it's a, it can be a little of both. Um, with, if you're really young and you're going with a bunch of freshmen and sophomores the next year, then I think you've got to keep teaching and keep putting stuff in because you haven't really put a lot in. Uh, this year's group for us, 
we're a mix, so it's a little bit easier to get things in. We're getting things in a little quicker. Uh, it just kind of depends on your kids and, and your and your system. Um, I try to create my system to the kids rather than than them creating themselves to me. If that makes any sense. So we try to build around them a little bit, but yet keep our philosophy and our system in place and try to make the adjustments. And that's with every team. It's just sometimes they pick it up quicker than others, to be honest with you. And then games are completely different. And you have to make the adjustments on the fly sometimes and then readjust and not be afraid to make changes throughout the course of the year. So that's what makes it fun. You're a man of many hats over there at Valley Christian. Boys basketball head coach isn't your only position. You also take care of a lot of athletics so as the AED over there. Talk about just juggling these positions, why you keep coming back and, and doing it too. What's that love like for, for this school and these programs? Well, now this is crazy, but for me, this is more of a calling than anything else. I think God's got me in the right place at the right time. Uh, and I don't do this by myself. I've got great people around me. John Pecky is my assistant, and he he takes care of me half the time. And then I've got great assistant coaches, and then I've got great head coaches with the other programs. Um, and it's unique. Valley's unique. And, and then everybody kind of lends a hand and does what they got to do, and, and we just try to do it the best way we can and, and just get it done. So I'm, it's not a one-man show, trust me. Why don't you go a step further and uh, introduce us to the rest of your staff? You mentioned Mr. Pecchia too, but I know that, like you said, there's a lot of moving parts that make this machine go. So what are some of the other big names inside yeah, this Valley Christian program? I'm really lucky. I've been blessed. I've, <laughs> 16 years ago when I got this job, I didn't know anybody around here, and I just had a guy from, our, from church that was coaching my, my youngest son at the time <laughs> in a church league. Bill Yobi and Bill has been with me for 16 years. I don't know why he's not, he's about as smart <laughs> as I am, I think. Uh, so Bill has always been there. He's been there since day one. Uh, Ken Madison has joined our staff in the last couple of years and Ken's been a great attribute with not only this program, but with the youth programs. And he's got a great, great basketball mind to lean on. And then uh, Tony DeFelice, a uh, former coach and, basketball coach and for years and years and years uh, has joined our staff since last year. So I, like I say, I, I got a lot of great people, a lot of good help. Coach, one of my final questions for you today is, uh, it's kind of a theme question I'm doing with all head coaches this year. And it goes back to the love of the sport. It's the, it's the love of the game that got us all interested. It's the love of the game that keeps us all going, no matter our position on the sidelines, on the floor, in a press box, it doesn't matter. You are a unique and one that I've, I've always wanted to ask this too. Where did that love first start in the sport of basketball for you? Do you have an earliest memory or a pinpoint when mm. you fell in love with the sport? You're dating me. You know that, right? Oh, uh, Coach, God. you're a legend though. You're a legend. You got you to gotta give I, it up. <laughs> I guess pro my first – I mean, I, I played everything all through high school even. But I really probably, when I started, back then there wasn't a lot of AAU, but you went to camps. And so I would go to the University of Oklahoma's camp. At that time, when I was growing up, who was the coach? John McLeod was the coach, and he became a coach of Phoenix Suns. And then I would go to Kansas uh, almost every year, probably for five or six years. And... I don't know. You're just around a lot of people. You're around a lot of great coaches. It's competitive. I think I like it because it's so fast. I mean, you don't have time, a lot of time to think. you got to react. You have to read. Uh, it's a very fast-paced game, but you got to have skill. I mean, you got to have more than just one skill. you got to be able to pass and dribble and run and shoot and defend. and So that's that kind of fit me. I wasn't a great football player. should have been, but I wasn't. Didn't want to be. <laughs> but basketball kind of, uh, it was a lot of fun. Just was great fun for me. Second part to that, too, uh, I mean, with your experience inside the sport and, I mean, the success that you were able to experience and then the, the time you've also put in coaching, you mentioned a oh, decade plus. What are some of the biggest things you've seen that have changed, if there is any, both in the playing style and from the coaching perspective from back then to now? Uh. Well, 
I, I think, it, and this is going to sound old school, um, but Michael Jordan made the first big change when he when he started playing. Every everybody in America was trying to get to the rim. And that was the game. Go to the, get to the rim, get to the rim, get to the rim. Now we're now we're back to to shooting threes because of Steph. And then the game has changed immensely with with the rule changes. And the NBA is different, and it just is. And I, and I was at that level too. It's just different in that it's become more of a one-on-one isolation. There's not a lot of help defense, a lot of screen and rolls. So you, in that regard, it has changed. It's not as it's not as maybe I don't know how to say this to be politically correct. It may be not as team oriented as it used to be. It's more so individuals and my best player are going to be your is going to be your best player. So it's it's changed quite a bit, and the kids and it's for the good. I mean, there's nothing wrong with it. It's very entertaining. Um, I don't like our new rule change, but I'm old school, okay. and I wish we had a shot clock. Yeah. So. Coach, I mean, I always love and enjoy talking hoops with you. And I mean, if I could ed- ed- or spend uh, spend 10, 15 minutes out of my day to talk basketball with you, I'll always take that. And I just enjoy the time you give me, too, because I know you're so busy each and every day. As well. Oh, it's my pleasure. You can come down here anytime. Yeah, thank you. Thank you so much, Coach, for the time. We're rooting for you and your team's success this year over there at Valley Christian. I know we'll cross paths this year and why I said we'll cross paths with you this year as well. This has been a a first edition of Coach's Corner with the legend himself, Mr. Dolph Carroll, head coach of the Valley Christian boys basketball team. Thanks, Tyler.